Welcome back to Aurora Tech Channel. In this video, I will find out how moistened filament affects print quality and how to fix it. I saw some people put moistened filament into a food dehydrator or an oven and dry it for a few hours, and it seems these methods do work pretty well. However, I would prefer to get a filament dryer rather than putting some plastic filament into a food oven. A filament dryer should be a very simple device, a plastic enclosure with a heating element inside. It doesn't need to be too hot or the filament will melt. Once it heats up to around 50 degrees Celsius, it should dry the filament. When I searched on Amazon, I found that there are quite a lot of the same filament dryers, but with different brand names. I am interested in some of them, like Sunlu, Esun, and Sovel. Most dryers with a one-spool capacity cost around $50. The one from Sovel has a two-spool capacity, and the price is $70. But when I checked their official website, the price was just $55. So, I decided to get one from Sovel, as I'm quite happy with their SV01 3D printer. I also did some upgrades on the printer. If you're interested, you can check out some of my previous videos. Today, I will test it out and see if it really works. I will start printing a 3D Benchy with a new roll of filament, which is supposed to be in perfect condition, so we can have a reference on what kind of print quality we can expect. I will soak 12 meters of filament in water. As printing a 3D Benchy requires around 4 to 5 meters, this should be more than enough for me to print two of them. Okay, I'm back. I will now try to print with the water-soaked filament. I'll dry it a little with a towel so I don't damage the printer. The water-soaked filament actually clogged the nozzle when it finished printing the lower part of the model. It needs more frequent retraction once it starts printing the upper part of the benchy. This has never happened on this printer before, so I will stop the print and retry. This time, it clogged the nozzle at almost the same time, right after it finished the bottom. I'm pretty sure this is caused by the water-soaked filament. This time, I needed to open up the hot end and remove the clogged filament as I was not able to just pull it out. I will now dry the remaining water-soaked filament for 12 hours, and then print the same benchy again to see if there are any improvements. I will print the same benchy and see how it looks. After the filament is dried, it prints okay. The print can be completed without any issues, and it actually looks pretty good. As you can see, the difference is huge, but the one printed with brand new filament still looks a little better than the dried one. I think soaking filament in water may be too extreme, so let's do something closer to a real-world scenario. Since no one will soak their filament in water on purpose, a more likely situation is that the filament would be moistened by humid air. In this case, I will use something called a humidifier gel, and put them and the filament inside a sealed container. It should boost the humidity to over 80%, which is higher than the most humid month in Florida. I will let them sit here for another three days. It has been moistened for more than 70 hours. I will now use half of the filament inside this box to print the same benchy. I was worried that the nozzle would be clogged again, as I have had some bad experiences with water-soaked filament before. So I watched the print until it finished. This time, there was no clogging or any other issues. The print looks pretty good, but the layers do look worse than the original one. 
I think the main reason is that the moistened filament creates bubbles that result in inconsistent extrusions. We will take a closer look to compare all the models later on. I will also dry the remaining moistened filament and reprint another Benchy. This time, it prints pretty well. There are no noticeable differences between the original Benchy printed with fresh filament and this moistened and then dried filament. Here are all the prints. This first one is the one printed from brand new filament. This is our baseline so we can see what the print should look like. Next, we have the water-soaked filament after it has been dry for 12 hours followed by the 80% humidity moistened filament after it has been dried for 12 hours. I would say that this filament dryer did make a difference. It did improve the moistened filament print quality, but it may still not be able to get the same quality as the brand new perfectly sealed filament. If you do have moistened filament, getting a machine like this is a good idea. I like this Silva machine because it works just like it's supposed to. It can also dry two rolls of filament at the same time. But I think they can improve the appearance of this machine, as it doesn't look as good as other brands in the market, but I think the dual filament drying capacity can compensate for that. Personally, I care more about functionality and capacity more than how it looks but I do hope Silva can improve that in the next version. That's it for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. My brother and I make a new video every weekend, so check out my channel on Mondays and you'll see something new. See you next week.